everybody and welcome to Storm Raids and today I'm going to uh, get, have for you a vintage uh, category romance haul. Um, I went to this place, it's uh, called the Restore, it's for Habitat for Humanities where they, normally I thought they just sold like appliances and stuff that they've gotten out of different houses, like they're used um, things like a lot of uh, doors and cabinet doors and odds and ends and things like that. But lately I found I found out that there's like this book section and uh, I went there before and got some um, older Harlequins and things like that whenever I was there because you can get a bunch of books because you can get 10 for a dollar and this time whenever I went they had some really older like a lot older of the Harlequin romances I don't know where they're getting these but it makes me want to go back <laughs> but yeah so I thought I would show you what I picked up I I have uh, 20 from the Restore, and then I have three uh, books that I actually picked up at used bookstore. On the outside area, they have this uh, bargain bin type thing, and you can pick out whatever you want there and just give them a donation, and I found them out there, and so that's what I did. I just gave them a dollar and took a couple books. But most of these are the ones that what I got from the Restore. And the... Sorry if you can hear the air. I know it's probably noisy and annoying, but it's too hot up here without it. Especially over in this little corner where I have everything set up because it gets hot over here. Okay. Anyway, so first one I have is uh, This Much to Give by um, Jean S. McLeod. And this is uh, Harlequin Romance number 597 and it's got the really cool like red edges and everything and this looks like a medical romance before there were medical romances <laughs> it's got the nurse and i just really like these because uh you know just looking at the way they're dressed and things like that it's kind of cool and everything um this one it says like the copyright is 1945 but i think this is like a reprint maybe um because of what it says it but when I tried looking it up on like the fiction database it didn't give me like a reissue numbers or anything like that and it has the number of 597 so I don't know but it's really really cool so and then this one's a little beat up and it's got this stupid piece of tape on the front that I'm afraid to take off because I'm afraid it's gonna rip off the cover but this is The Man at Mulera, Mul I don't know. And it's uh, Harlequin number 920. And uh, look at that. 60 cents. <laughs> this cost 60 cents back in the day. It's like really cool. This is from Catherine Blair. And uh, yeah, I... I look, this one kind of is really beat up. I had to put like some tape in it because the front was coming off a little bit. So, gotta be really careful with this one. But, uh, like this one was from 1965. And, yeah, it's really cool. I just like the vintage covers. They're like painted and stuff, and not like the ones we have now. And here's another one by the same author. And this is Bar Barbary Moon by Catherine Blair. And it's number 972. I tried to put these in like number order, kind of. So, yeah. This one looks pretty cool. Looks like it's on some kind of vacation. I hate that somebody put a number right here. Oh, just, it really aggravates me. Oh, I forgot to mention, and this one was really cool, because uh, somebody's mail was left in it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this mail was from 1989, so I know that somebody had this around 1989. And then we have another Harlequin romance called Huntsman's Folly, and this is by Alex Stewart, and it's uh, number 1060. Just got such a simple painted cover. I 
and I'm not going to read what these are all about because then I'd be here forever. So this is number uh, 1576. It began in Taranji? 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 I don't know. It's that, and it's by Gloria Bevan. And this one's 1839, and it's Run From the Wind by Rebecca Stratton. I really like this cover. It's got a cool house in the back. They're a little dingy, but I don't know if there's a way to clean them up or not. I don't know. There's a pencil marking here. But I'll have to look into that. I don't want to mess them up or anything. Worse than they already are. Here's another one that's got a 20 on it. Whoever did that. Oh, it's aggravating. This one's called Dragon Island. It's 1851 by Henrietta Reed. Look at that suave jacket. I love it. I've noticed there's a lot of horse themes going on in some of these books. <laughs> And then I have Take All My Loves by Janice Gray, and this one's 1886. And this one must be a little bit newer. See, now it's 75 cents instead of 60 cents. <laughs> and this one is number 1936 and it's called Remembered Serenade. It's by Mary Burchell. Maybe that's how you say that. There we go. Nice cover. A little wrinkly, but you know, what can you say? It's old. Got kind of a little stain or something there. I don't know. I like this cover. And this one is a uh, a Lesson in Loving by Margaret Way, and it's number 1974. I just think this cover is really pretty. I just like the, the colors. The orange, the yellow. I mean, it goes with her hair. This is a really nice cover. And then this one has a kind of a, a weird name for a romance novel. Uh, Goblin Court, number 2005. And this is by Sophia Weston. Look at the car. I love it. Vintage car. <laughs> it's great. This one is like in really, really good condition. Then I have uh, Wild Inheritance by Margaret Hargetter. Harget I, I cannot say it, but it has the most adorable puppy on the front. Uh, and this is number, it's in a different spot, um, 2168. And it's kind of funny, it's kind of fun to see um, the price go up. See, now it's, it's 95 cents. So we know that this one's a little bit older. Let's see, what is this one? Or, I guess, newer, however you want to say it, than the other ones. Yeah, this one's 1977. So. But that puppy is just so cute. Then I have... Magic of the Bo Boba? I'm probably butchering that, but it's by Yvonne Whitehall, and it's number 2243. And I hate it. Somebody put this sticker on here, and it's on with scotch tape, and that's. I got one off 
without it ruining anything, so hopefully I can get that one off it. Like that one that's over the, on the cover, I'll worry about. And then this one is called Autumn Song by Margaret Pajetter. Pad I think I might have had her already. Yep. I thought I did. But this is one from, uh, let's see, 1979. And it's a, you can't see it, it's real small. It's $1.25. So this one gone up a little bit. And this is, uh, I think I said it, Autumn Song. And those cool dogs in a row. I don't know if those are statues. I think they're statues. It's kind of cool. Anyway. And the next one I have is number 2412. And it's Summer of the Weeping Rain by Yvonne Whitehall. And this one's in pretty good condition. But see, look at these. There's a lot of horses on a lot of these old ones. I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so that's all like the really old ones but I do have some other ones that are old but maybe not quite as old as those that don't necessarily fit in with like that color scheme I found this here and it's called a Harlequin's classic library and look at this it's cool it says enter the Harlequin let your imagination fly sweepstake over the front cover <laughs> and uh, it's called uh, Cameron of Gare I guess and it's by Jean S. McLeod, which was one of the authors from one of these over here. And I think it says when it was first published, because this is like a, a reprint. And yeah, so it was first it was first from nineteen fifty two, but then they put it in this Harlequin's classic library. And even this is still, still pretty old because this was only a dollar twenty-five for this, and uh, it's also one that's in the Scottish Highlands, which I thought was kind of cool because a lot of these other ones don't look like they're like from anything like that, so it's kind of cool. And then I have a an older Harlequin presents. It's Rosemary Carter's face in a portrait. And this one's like in really decent condition. And it's just the ones with the plane. And it was a dollar fifty. It's from nineteen eighty one. And it was number four ten. I think I forgot to say maybe. And then I found these these I found these ones out in the, the bargain bin or whatever, and I just thought they were really cool, and I had to grab them, because I love Debbie Maycomber, and this is a Harlequin romance, Midnight Suns, it's Debbie Maycomber's The Marriage Risk, and it's in pretty decent condition, especially for being outside, sorry about the glare, and then I have... Um, another Midnight Sun and this one is Daddy's Little Helper by Debbie Maycomer and when I look these up I have numbers two and three so now I'm on the hunt for number one because I need, all, I need one two and three I don't know it's kind of bugging me I have two and three but yeah I thought these were pretty cool since she's like a, a pretty big uh, romance author and I found these two in the uh, Harlequins and their numbers uh three three eight three and three three eight seven so but yeah pretty cool and they're from 1995 so i mean they're still fairly fairly old but i hate to say that 95 is old because i was out of high school by then and that just doesn't sound right <laughs> and this one is called a foreign affair by eve rutland 
and it says introductory introductory copy copy so I'm guessing maybe this is like something they might have gotten whenever they like subscribe to Harlequin maybe I don't know anything but it's kind of cool does it have a number oh and this is number 3283 and then I think this one I really think is really cool because this is a Harle Harlequin entry it's never say die by Tess Gerdinson, and uh, it's number 181, and I was like, I know that person, so I like had to look it up, and uh, yeah, she's like the lady that writes the Rizzoli and Isle books, or whatever, so that was kind of cool. It's a little, little beat up and everything, but it's still pretty cool. And then these last two, they're not Harlequins. Um, they're just, but they're like category romances. There's, there's numbers on them and everything. But this is a Bantam romance, and it's um, We Ride the Gale. And it's by Emily uh, Loring. And it's got yellow edges that are kind of fading out a little bit. But yeah, they're on there. And this one that has like numbers, it was 60 cents whenever it was, uh, when it first came out, and it's number seven. And so I don't know exactly if there's a, you know, a line that Bantam Romances had or something, but yeah, it's, it's cool. It's got a cool cover. And then this one is from Signet, and it's Adventures in Love, number 30, and it's Autumn Island by Catherine Ladd. And so I thought that was kind of cool. And see, this one is from, it's from 1982, so, yeah. But I thought that was cool that I found a, a Signet one that, um, was actually in like a series because this is called Adventure in Love. So I hope you liked these uh, vintage uh, romances that I showed you. I thought it was kind of cool to like find a whole bunch of these and I'm kind of thinking that I may have to go back up there soon and see if I can find some others, especially since it's so cheap. And evidently they have like a ton of books, but they said, you know, the more people, they can get people to buy books, the more books they, they can put back out. So they must have, like, a whole bunch in, like, storage or something. Because they did have, like, a, a variety of books that um, weren't there the last time that was there. And that was only, like, maybe a month ago. And hoping maybe they'll put out some more of these really cool vintage romances because they're just really cool. I just really like the, the covers. And I thought it was something fun to maybe collect or something. And I am uh, participating in the category, categorically romance readathon, so I thought it would be kind of fun to uh, show these off during that readathon. And so I hope you enjoyed everything. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.